He's an average kid that no one understands. Mom and Dad and Vicky always giving him commands. Dad, twerk! Tune and bloom up in his room. It's broken instantly. Eyes magic little fish who grab his every wish. Cause in reality, they are his odd parents, fairly odd parents. Wands and wick! Floaty brownie thing! Odd parents, fairly odd parents. Really modern people. my rocket or build a mouth on it. Who did that? Did what? But as long as you're launching mouths, can you send wanders into orbit? Oh, Timmy, could you come downstairs for a minute? Coming! I'm serious. No more magic unless I say the words I wish. Got it? Got, Got it! it. Son, do you know why I give you your tiny allowance? Because if you called it pay, it'd break child labor laws? Exactly. And because I want you to do the chores I don't want to do. Like take out the trash. Now do your labor. I mean job. I mean chores. Hmm, funny. I don't remember putting on feather shorts this morning. Hey, pick up that man egg for me, would you, son? Oh, what is that stench? Yeah, it smells like Wanda's cooking. Or your dad laid a man egg. <laughs> ah, man egg! Ah! Hey, what did I just say about waiting for me to say I wish before you do stuff? But Timmy, we didn't do anything. Well then, why did my rocket take off? Why did the stairs turn into a slide? And why does my dad have bird legs? Maybe he should work out more. And he has high cholesterol. You know, Sport, it would be a lot easier to concentrate if this place didn't smell like Cosmo's feet. Good point. Cosmo, I wish the garbage was gone. What? No, wait a second. Uh-oh, here she goes. Is this how you two always take out the trash? Duh! And where did you poof the garbage away to? Well, I felt the front yard would be tacky. The dump is so five minutes ago, uh, so I went for under the house. What? Didn't I warn you a million times never to just poof the garbage away? Yeah, but you warn us not to do a lot of stuff that's fun. Or easy. So we tend to ignore you now. Besides, I use magical two-ply trash bags. The first ply is plastic, the second ply is magic. Two plies! Oh, no! So that's what's going on here. As the garbage decomposes, so does the magic around it. <laughs> hey, honey, is it just me or is this the least comfortable couch on Earth? It's causing stinky magic! Ah, like in Vegas? It smells like man egg in here. Stinky magic can have some very strange and unpredictable effects on the house and the people in it. <laughs> like that. Do you always have to be right? Yes. I can't believe our couch is this upset. I told you you should have popped the pillows more. We have to do something. I wish everything was back to normal. You got it. You don't got it. <laughs> Gad, there's only one thing to do at a time like this. What's going on? Why didn't your magic work? You see, magical garbage is sort of tricky, Timmy. Oh, oh, you know who should be here? Big Daddy! No, no, no! 
well. Big Daddy can be sort of hard to get along with. Big Daddy? Yep, Big Daddy, Wanda's father. He knows all about magical garbage. He's got the trash collection contracts for all of Fairy World. That's perfect. Then I wish Wanda's father was here right now. You got it. Cosmo, no! How funny to you? Funny how? Like a clown? Am I wearing big shoes, a funny hat? Yes! I'm so sorry, Big Daddy. I, I just forgot, that's all. I'll pay! Hey, this isn't the riverfront. And you ain't Carmine Impero. Big Daddy! Sugar Plum! Big Daddy, I'm Timmy Turner. And I'm Big Daddy. Here's my card. Garbage Incorporated. We make your trash and your problems disappear, if you know what I mean. What's so important you drag me here for my very violent, I mean, important business meeting? <laughs> what is this show rated? That! Stinky magic! And I need your sanitation expertise to clean this up. So get to it, garbage boy, chop chop. If you need me, I'll be in my room playing video games. Oh! Nobody tells Big Daddy how to do his job. Timmy! You don't talk to Big Daddy like that. People who aggravate Big Daddy have a habit of disappearing, like Amelia Earhart or Hootie and the Blowfish. Do I look like a servant to you? Actually, yes. Wrong answer. Big Daddy! This is the Timmy you told me about. This is Mr. Listen to you all the time. Mr. Good Boy. Mr. Perfect Teeth. Uh, sort of. Ah! Uh, what's next? I suppose for last, you're gonna tell me you married this guy? <laughs> Funny story. Um. <laughs> for my psyche, but good for my hair. Ah! Okay, that's it. Come on, Lamp Pop. We're out of here. Cosmo, Wanda won't stand up to her father. It's up to you. Then it's been a pleasure working with you. Say hello to Hootie for me. No, it is up to me. Nobody move. Jorgen von Strangle. Boy, am I glad to see you. Big Daddy, you have no authority to take Wanda away from Timmy. That is my job. You know what else could be your job, Flat Top? Shoveling your way out of your house past mountains of trash. Uh, wait. You didn't let me finish. You have no authority to take Wanda away, so I hereby deputize you. Bye. Say hello to Hootie for me. All right, hurry up with the packet. Move it. We're being sucked down into the basement! But we don't have a basement! We do now! It's the perfect place to store my man eggs! Fine, you're right! I should have listened to Wanda! But I don't have time to listen to this! Hey, nobody touches Big Daddy! People who touch Big Daddy... Disappear! I know, I heard! You don't want to help me save my parents? Fine, then I'll do it myself! The stinky magic must be rearranging the whole house now. That's better. The number you've reached is trying to kill you. It's time to take out the trash. <gasps> My favorite shirt. You told me it was stolen by Canadians. This might be bad. Yeah! Hi, Hi, Timmy. Timmy. Yeah! Huh? What? I told you before, kid. Nobody tells Big Daddy how to do his job. Go 
because nobody does his job better than Big Daddy. How'd you do all that? I know things. The garbage is all gone. Your mom and dad, they'll just think they had a bad dream. Horrible, painful basement. <laughs> it's my shirt. Get away, you Canadians! Get away! Oh, Big Daddy, thank you so much for saving Timmy's parents. Hey, he loves his family so much he stood up to me. I wouldn't let it happen again. But I respect it, kid. You got Matsy. Well, as long as we're standing up to Big Daddy, it's time to discuss taking over the family business. For starters, I think that I... <laughs> a certain someone should be quiet before a certain someone ends up sleeping with the fishes. Oh, is it me? I love scuba diving. Thanks for helping me save my family. All right, but don't tell nobody. Now I gotta go. It's Binky's turn to buy lunch. Bye, Butter Dimple. Bye, Big Daddy. Bye, Big Daddy-in-law. Hey, I think he likes me. Oh, or not. <laughs> I'm sleeping with the fishes. Oh. Dimsdale, I'm Chet You Betcha. Welcome to Chet You Betcha's Lifestyles of the Rich and Wasteful. Tonight, we are going to see how famous people, better than you, live their lives. Including pop diva Brittany Brittany. So rich and famous, she swims in the tears of her many male fans. We love you, Brittany Brittany. Next, Chip Skylark, so famous, he gets his aerobic workouts with the help of his fans. We love you, Chip Skylark. Money, getting on TV, Trixie Tang chasing you. Wouldn't being famous be the coolest, you guys? Ah, it is the coolest. Just look at my super cool shades. All the stars have them. What are you talking about? You're not a star. Yes, I am. In fact, we're all stars. Ah! <laughs> Second, call me crazy. What? There's no secret that could be discovered by an impromptu trip to Fairy World. But I think you two are hiding something. I want to go to Fairy World right now. <laughs> What's the matter? Uh, Timmy, it's just you usually give us a little notice when you want to go to Fairy World. It's not very polite to just drop in. And when does being polite ever matter to me? Yeah, the only time you see the words Timmy and Polite in the same sentence is if the word isn't is between them. I wish we were in Fairy World right this second! Look, it's Timmy! Cosmo's so cute! What this fatter in person. Hey, what's going on? Why is everybody staring at us? We love you, Timmy! <laughs> we love your pink hat! Hey, do the impolite thing! What are you talking about? Hey, he's doing the impolite thing! <laughs> Who loves Cosmo? Timmy TV? Weeknights at 9? What's Timmy TV? Oh, nothing. Just our highest rated reality show. But now that Turner knows he's on TV, our success will be over. And it's all your faults. Right. Our faults, Mr. Sparklefield. Our bad, Mr. Sparklefield. You're fired. <laughs> this is a disaster. It might not be. Stop the presses. Well, now that Turner knows everything, we can strongly suggest he make a few changes to his life so that Timmy TV is the smashingest smash hit ever. Now get me a meeting with Fairy World's number one star. I'm Fairy World's number one TV star? This is awesome! A glaring ovation! See, Timmy, uh, the studio has been secretly broadcasting your charming screwball life to all of Fairy World. For how long? Ever since they canceled Leave It to Binky. <laughs> to 
Didn't you notice the cameras everywhere? Hmm, now that you mention it, no. But who cares? Fame totally rocks! And now I'm off to my first power lunch! Well, Timothy, enjoying the fame now that you're a star? Ah! Hey, what's not to like? Uh, Simon, about Timmy knowing, it's not his fault, it's ours. No worries, my dear, but seeing as the cat's out of the bag, I feel if Timmy is willing to make a few little changes to the show, you could all be famous beyond your wildest dreams. Please, please don't take my character out of the show, Mr. Sparklefield. I have so many adoring fans. Don't worry, Cosmo. I'm the star, and I would never let that happen. Now, where do I sign? Right here, actually. Shouldn't you read that? Ha! Read! The only time you see the words Timmy and read in the same sentence is if the word doesn't is in the middle. The private studio pool is yours to use any time, Timmy. Brilliant, Simon. Now, about those changes to your life, you need a catchphrase. Something you say all the time, like, uh, what could possibly go wrong? We also want to change the color of your hat to purple. But the pink hat's my thing. Oh, this is what I was worried about. Don't you want him to just be himself? Nag, nag, nag. No wonder you're the third least popular character on the show. <laughs> the fans, they still love me, though, right? <laughs> Gotta tell you, Big T, purple would make you way more famous. What could possibly go wrong? Give him a purple hat. He'll wear it. Give him ice cream. He won't share it. He's Timmy. He's just like you and me. Except he's got fairy. He's got teeth the size of minivans. There's no end to his shenanigans. He's Timmy. He's just like you and me. Except he's got fairy. He's got fairy. He's a kid who's irresistible. Life with him is unpredictable. He's Timmy. He's just like you and me. <laughs> Timmy, honey, I'm going to make you a nice big breakfast. Gee, Mom, that sounds... Uh, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> I'd just love to know what's so funny about pancakes and eggs. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Fix yourself a bowl of cereal then, smarty pants, and for being so rude, you're grounded for a week. Big T, what are you doing? Grounded for a week does not an exciting reality show make. What are you talking about? I got grounded because I did exactly what you said to do. You're right. Maybe we replace Mom with someone a little less shrill. Find out if Florence Henderson is available. You can't do that. Sure we can. With a little of this and a little of this. Timmy, since you're not grounded after all, how about some snacks? Thanks, Mrs. Brady. I mean, Mom? Wow, your mom sure is a lot less shrill. <laughs> hey, I'm funny. <laughs> oh, I love Mom as a blonde. But what's with the brace face and the bald kid? Sorry to interrupt, Big T, but the audience loves your new mom, so we're going to keep making changes. This is it. <laughs> Goodbye, Wanda. Goodbye, Jimmy. AJ and Chester, gotta go. It's about time. What are you talking about? They're my best friends. I happen to like them. But as our research clearly shows, your fans don't. Now meet your wacky new sidekicks. Ooh, 
funny. Have you done something new with your hair, face, and body? Ah! Ah! Get Timmy's friends off my head! We love Timmy TV! <laughs> I knew the audience would love those adorable chimps. Can this show get any more massive? Impossible. Unthinkable. Wrong answer. You're fired. No! As you can see, chimps score huge with the audience, but Wanda and Cosmo, I'm afraid, do not. What? Don't tell me you're thinking of getting rid of Cosmo and Wanda. You can't just separate us. And yet, I can. Big T here is under contract, remember? Wow! The only time you see the words Timmy and contract together is if you see the phrase Timmy's tiny attention span has once again prevented him from reading the fine print of a... You can get rid of my hat, my mom, and my best friends. But you can't get rid of my godparents. Oh, did you hear that? He really loves us! <laughs> I mean, who else is gonna poof up ice cream for me all the time? Tough toenails, Big T. You're the one who wanted to be famous. Fame has a price. Besides, if I let you walk, where am I going to get a crazy, wacky new star to fill your shoes? What if I could find someone crazier and wackier to fill my shoes? Finally! It's done! My new and improved Ultra Fairy Detector! With it, I can't help but find... Fairy Godparents! And make a delicious fruit smoothie! <laughs> What's that? Laughter from nowhere? It's an obvious sign that either invisible people have finally come to recognize my unique brand of comic genius, or more likely... Fairy Godparents! <laughs> Fairy Godparents! <laughs> what I tell you, Simon, is Crocker a giant hit or what? You're a natural, my little executive producer. Crocker TV is the biggest show we've ever had. And your episode idea where he gets eaten by a herd of wildebeest is great. Wanda, Cosmo, no hard feelings. When he's off the show, can I have his part, please? Please, please? What could possibly go wrong? Lots of things. Never let your mom be your manager. You've got an audition. Try and look cute. Wait a minute. Mom? I don't know any of you kids. You're in my spot! She is so shrill. Oh.